welcome back in this video i am going to show you what are the web softwares that real time biometrics have on their cloud server here we will discuss about the features of them and also we'll discuss what's the difference between them so basically here we will discuss about the web softwares for employees for employees the real time have two softwares the first one is free online realsoft.com and another one is online realsoft.com two softwares the first one is free online realsoft.com and another one is online realsoft.com as it's clear with the name so free online software is free for one year for 250 users but there are some feature limitations this means in the free online software you will not get full functionality of the software if you want the full functional you will need to switch to online realsoft.com of course in the free we can't get the full functional full functions so basically in the free online realsoft.com you will get one year free subscription for 250 users but there are limitation this means here you can connect just two devices only and also there are many features that has been hidden and also has been removed like mobile app is not full functional here and uh, access control option is not here and uh, many other things that has that has been removed from the free online realsoft.com so whenever you need full functional software you will need to switch to online realsoft.com so as the working of online realsoft.com and free online realsoft.com is same so here we will discuss about the online realsoft.com so for this software what you have to do you just have to visit online realsoft.com the portal is online realsoft.com and from here you can just sign up and create your account whatever the account you are going to create you can create your account from here so i'll just create mine here mumbai email id is put your email id put your phone number and put your login details i'll just make the same for login name username and password and all while creating the account make sure you don't put any space in login name or username once if you put any space here your data will save in the database but your account will not be created so when again you are going to create your account with the same details you won't be able to get the account so just fill the details and click on create account once the account is created you will directly back in the login page so once we are logged in the first what we will need to do is we will need to configure this software so let's just configure the software for configuration what you have to do you just have to go to file and fill all the details like company branch department designation office time policy shift and employee details so i'll just go to company put my company name and put the address i'll just put the mumbai only and these are not the mandatory fields but if you want you can fill the details there are the salary heads mentioned like you can put here basic 
एच आर ए डी ए और कन्वेंस मिजलीनियस वट आवर द सैलरी हेड्स यू नीड टू क्रिएट एंड वट आवर द डिडक्शन हेड्स यू आर गोइंग टू क्रिएट यू कैन पोट एज पर योर रिक्वायरमेंट सो इन द कंपनी मास्टर जस्ट फिल द कंपनी नेम एंड एड्रेस देन जस्ट मेक इट सेव नाउ गो टू ब्रांच मास्टर एंड हियर यू कैन जस्ट एड मल्टीपल ब्रांचेस I'll first add Mumbai branch and uh, Mumbai. Then, if I have multiple branches and multiple devices, I'll add multiple Delhi. I'll add another one. Once you are done the branch addition, just go to department master. From here, you can add your multiple departments. I'll just add software for once. Software was already added here, so I'll just add software. And again, you can add uh, accounts. Multiple, whatever the departments you have, you can add. I'll just add IT, sales account, IT, whatever the department you want to add, you can add here. Then you have to go to designation master, and here in the designation, you just have to fill what are the employees post on which post they are working. Like they, if they are software, then they are the software engineers, and uh, if they are in account. then they must be an accountant and whatever whatever the department designation you have you just have to fill here then once the designation is added what you have to do is you have to go to the office time policy section office time policy office time policy is basically the late arrival or early hour or working hour conditions so let's see if for staff i'll just put the name as staff here staff uh, permit late arrival allowed what what's the timing that we are going to allow if our shift starts at 10 o'clock i'll just allow 10 minutes only if he is coming after 10 o'clock it will be considered as late another setting is mark as half day if working hour is less than I'll just put here as uh, if their working hour is less than five hours, it will be considered as half day. And uh, permit early departure. I'll just allow ten minutes early departure only. Mark as absent if their working hour is less than. Uh, I'll just put here three hours. If employee's working hour is less than three hours, it will be considered as absent. Same condition for. Uh, let's see. Here, after ten minutes, it was getting considering as late. But what this late setting is? This is the regular late. Means if I am putting here two hours, this means after two hours, it will be directly cut half day or full day absent. So I'll just make ten. half day this means if my shift starts at 10 o'clock and if employee is coming after 12 o'clock it will consider as half day directly doesn't matter if he is first late second late third late or whatever the same condition is for early departure i'll not allow any of my employees to go early so i'll just allow 30 minutes only departing before 30 minutes it will consider as half day now as we have already shown that after 10 minutes it will consider as late but we can bind this late condition also this means after 10 minutes after 10 minutes it will consider as late but every third late fourth late or every third late of the month will be half day if we enable this setting this means 
after 10 minutes it will calculate it as late and every third late of the month will be half day this means he is late on day first second third will be half day again he is late on four five and again late on six six also will be half day so now just if we have any overtime settings if you want to give overtime just enable the overtime if you want to ignore any overtime we can put the ignore overtime here also and make it save okay here the staff policy is same but i don't have the same policies for each and everyone so i'll just put a policy for manager i'll just create a policy for manager and there is no condition for manager so i'll just put a name and make it save now you have to go to shift details from the shift detail we can we can put what's the our office timing i'll just create a shift that is 001 and the office starts at 10 o'clock office ends at 18 o'clock in the evening i don't have any break i don't need to consider any break we have sunday off and also we have saturday off and saturday is second and fourth saturday off and second week off is full day and this is early hours allowed this means if your shift starts at 10 o'clock he is allowed 8 hours early and 4 hours late after 18 he is allowed to go 4 o'clock then from here we can fill the OT calculation and the working hour condition the way whatever you want just make it save once it's done go to file again go to employee list and from here we can add and from the employee master we can add the different different employees so i'll just add one i'll add one you can put your email id mobile number and all the things but actually i don't need to fill all the details so from here you can select whatever the software department designation whatever you have given to them and okay so here the employee is added i'll just add few more employees here so here we have added four employees here and uh, if we have um, more number of employees then we actually don't need to add one by one we can also import the excel file for importing the excel or csv file what we have to do is we have to go to import from excel option and from here you will get download master template option just click on download master template option you will get employee csv file what you have to do you just have to fill all your company and employee details in the excel here and that excel will be uploaded here you can just create excel as per your requirement here as here it's shown you just have to create excel as per this like whatever the employee name employee code card number department designation and whatever the things that is there you just have to fill these details here and just from 
here you just choose the file and upload and create master so that all the employees in bulk will be uploaded here so as we have already filled the company branch department designation policy shift and employee details so now what we will do is we will just do the device setup so just from the device setup just go to add edit machine click on add device number automatically will get generated from the server whatever the device number is showing here you just have to put this machine number in the device select the machine type from here put the serial number here as we don't have any device right now so I'll just I'll just put any serial number whatever I need to just do here server IP is here server port is here what you have to do you just have to make it save once it's save you have to do some settings in the device like you have to put the machine number this in the device then you have to put this IP in the device server IP you have to put this server port in the device basically mainly whatever the device having having firmware version above 9.0 the server port will be used 7799 if their firmware is below 9.0 then you will need to use 7788 server port so you just have to configure your device once your device is configured and you have connected your device with internet your device will automatically get connected here right now I don't have any device so basically right now device is in disconnected status so basically for checking the report you will not need to do anything special what you have to do you just have to log in the software and directly just go to daily or monthly report and check the report whatever the report you want here it will show you the report like this whether it's uh, in time out time late or early whatever it is in late out early working hour and all the things and from here you can download that excel word pdf file of the report but if you feel any issue in the report if you feel the software has not generated the proper report then you can regenerate the report for regenerating the report what you have to do you will need to go to transaction go to generate shift from here just select any of the date click on generate shift once the shift is generated successfully go to transaction again go to attendance process select the date and do the process once the process is done hundred percent the report will be okay then the report will be okay 